Man, I'm telling you, I wish it was this easy in real life to make money, man. I'd be rolling in it. I'd be rolling in 7,000 a day, apparently. I'd just be buck naked rolling in money. It's okay. It's my money. I could roll naked on it all I want. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to another brick in the mall. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Let's get the game under... Oh, wait, wait. Before I even get the game under row, check this out. I'm going to hit space bar and... Ah, you can now pause the game with Spacebar. I'm so happy they did that. I guess there's been a couple of updates. I haven't looked into the, the update logs just yet. I need to do that pretty soon, but there's been a couple of updates, and one of them was apparently pause with the Spacebar. I love it already. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the series, again, I will remind you, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. And I also want you guys to start throwing some suggestions my way in the comments, like, you know, a type of store you would like to see, a type of layout, you know, just ideas for me to kind of grow the complex here, because today we're actually opening our clothing store for the very first time. Now, I did notice this, which I didn't notice last time around. Apparently, the people cannot access the things all the way down here. So I need to either extend the walls down one more or kill these off and probably line them up over here, which seems to be like the easiest solution. So let's actually start off with doing that here really quick. Let's go into build, um, remove walls and objects seems to be the ideal one here. We'll kill all these here and I'm considering maybe just putting some racks over here on the side so let's also go to build objects and let's go down to the clothing racks i'm gonna spend some money doing this unfortunately but that's okay i have a really good feeling that today we're gonna be making a lot of money more money than we're used to making um some of you guys in the comments have also let me know that i was under the i guess wrong impression about what the food store the the restaurant really does it's not really supposed to make you so much money as more as it's just kind of like supposed to keep people in the center shopping for more. So people leave when they're hungry. So if they have a fast food joint, they can come over here and get some food and continue shopping for you, which is, you know, pretty great, obviously. Uh, I'm considering if I should probably even add another table or so down here. I want to also extend this area, probably get another counter at some point. But um, I'll do that after we're done with the clothing store here first because this is a big problem. So this is now a sign, which is great. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to be placing here now because we removed some stuff. So now it's going to be kind of like a bit wanky. Uh, a bit wanky. <laughs> what does a bit wanky mean? I don't know. It's a bit like it's a it's a take on word on janky, I guess. So we'll do that and we'll do jackets. I guess that'll work out. Um, I also want to have a little bit of a, I guess, loading zone for this area as well. Um, and I think that's about it, really. But I do want to have a loading zone down here. So let's go to build and let's go to remove... Uh, what are we looking at? Road work, right. So, like, maybe this here could be the loading zone for this area. So we'll remove that. My worker should come over here and do her thing. There you go. And then we have the janitor over here cleaning this out. I, I was told in the comments that I also need a recycling center for the fast food joint. Not true, actually. They will, whenever they're done cleaning it over here, they'll come over to the restaurant next and start pulling this stuff over here as well. So that one, I was actually correct on. Let's go to select here, and you... Did what you had to do over here. Great. Let's go over to road work, and I want to do a loading zone right over here. Okay. So that way, you know, we have, like, the loading zone for the food and food stuff, and then we have a loading zone for clothing. That makes sense, right? You want to kind of, like, separate everything together. You can't mix everything together because then you have a bit of a clusterfuck, and we're trying to avoid clusterfucks here. You know what we're trying to avoid, too? Really angry cashiers. Sally Beck, look, here's the problem. I know you're probably having a bad day or you're good now. You can't come into the store angry. You gotta leave your problems outside, okay? You can't come in here angry because the people will see that you're angry and they'll be like, hey, what's your problem? And not want to shop here anymore. And here's my janitors coming in to pick up the trash over here, so we're fine on that one. Okay, so um, we have filled this up now, which is great. Mm, I don't think we need two cashiers just yet. I think one should be enough because we don't really have a big store. So we'll kind of weigh it out with this one and see how that plays out. Let me go into fast speed so this actually gets underway. We have our store opening up. So remember, the, the, the process here is going to be the store opens up first for the majority of the day, then the restaurant, and eventually the clothing store at nighttime. Because I figure, you know, the clothing store opening at night, or not night, but afternoon till nighttime seems like a little bit better for me. Alrighty, and then over here the restaurant, everything seems to be stocked up, ready to go here for today. Okay, we are now open for business here as well. Cashier, cook. Alrighty, there you go, ordering some food. Let's also take a look at the waiting lines over here as well, because I want to make sure that we have, uh, I guess, enough people being um, checked out and whatnot. Um, let me slow it down here momentarily, and let me go ahead and see if we could do object. And let's see if I could do another food court table, perhaps. We could maybe place another one here. 
And another one here. Okay. Do we really need it? Maybe. I mean, it seems like we have a lot of people here on occasion waiting. Only a couple sit down on occasion, but we might as well just have it ready to go. Uh, once we extend this area, I think we'll probably extend it to the left-hand side a little bit here and give us some more room for another set of these guys, another counter, and maybe even another cook back here. Now remember, it's not going to make money for us too much. It's just to keep people happy in the center, keeping them full. We have a restroom. They'll come over here. As a matter of fact, there you go, right into the restroom. So we want to have people... We want to have their basics need ready. We have... Oh, I thought you were going in just now. No, you're not going in? You probably smelled whatever this person was up to, and you're kind of like, yeah, I don't think I want to be part of that. I don't blame you. All right, let's go back into fast speed now and see how this actually plays out. It is um, roughly 1 o'clock, and we're about to break even, so, so far, so good. Uh, we've been... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is this? Two occurrences of customers are leaving the center because there are no restrooms, or the restrooms are full. This is true. That is indeed full. Now, the problem is if I place this down here against the wall, as we found out, it doesn't really work. So, it does seem like we probably need another urinal or two. Do I just place a couple of these guys over here for now? I guess I could do that. I might as well do that for now, even though it doesn't look too aesthetically pleasing, but at least it'll keep more people in here, and I don't want them leaving. And telling their friends, like, hey, don't ever come to Falcon's shopping center because he doesn't have enough toilets for us. Uh, so let's come down to... Let's see here. Toilet cubicle, so we'll place it here and here. That's the weirdest um, toilet setup of all time. But you know what? We'll just say that it's not even weird. We'll just say that it's very... In not, not inconvenient. Inconvenient would be bad. We'll just say it's very ahead of its time. Like, we have this really, like, fancy... Like, you know, you're not really too sure what's happening here. But believe me, it's something really, really good. Because it's just very futuristic. The toilets themselves are not futuristic, mind you. You, you poop and you flush. That's all you gotta do there. But hey, it's working out for now. That's good. You can go away now. I'm also hearing no sound. Oh, here we go. My, my volume is too low. That's the reason why I'm not hearing any sound. I was a bit worried about that. Okay, so restaurants closed now. Hey! Check it out, guys. It is our clothing store. Ooh. Ooh, what's happening here? We're almost up to 2,000 with a lot of time left in the day. Now, mind you, we probably were going to make more money than this, but because we had to break this stuff down and build the roads, we're probably going to take a little bit of a, a, a hit to our money coming in today because of that alone. So next day should give us a really good representation as to how much money we're making per day now. But let's see this here. New objectives sell 50 different types of products. So now that we've sold some dresses and different stuff, this is all good to go. Alrighty, very cool. And let's keep an eye on this. I want to see how this kind of fills out the lines to make sure nobody's getting angry. You can go away now. Yeah, it's working out pretty good. I think one person is more than enough for this here. And they'll be here, the, the clerk and the, or the, the stalker and the cashier will be here for the rest of the day, so they're fine. I have to find out how much money this is making after a while, but for now this is looking pretty good. Hey, check this out! The day's not even done yet and we're, oh my god, that is some profit. That's going to actually be our best profit day so far. Look at that, yesterday we made a thousand, today we already made it 3,400. Who Nelly! And there it is, that's our day, huh? New objective, turn a daily profit over 5,000, so we went ahead and we actually got one of the things completed, one of our little quote-unquote objectives. And as you can see, we made 38,000, so we started off the day at, what, 19? Plus we built some roads, we destroyed some stuff and rebuilt them. Even built this over here, put some cubicles, and we basically doubled our money. There we go, now we're turning a really amazing profit. That's what I wanted to see. Very nice, okay. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, 33.58, baby, that's our new high. Very cool, and it should be even go higher today because we don't have to necessarily break anything down. So this is pretty good. Next day coming up here. So the next goal is going to be $5,000 reduce. Let's see here. We have sell 50 different types of products. Okay. So we need nine more, huh? Okay. Then we have turn a daily profit over 5000 We're going to work on that. Have a cust have 100 customers on site. We've gone up to 74 now. And make 10,000 total sales, which we'll get to eventually. Okay. Not bad at all. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to swallow a frog on camera. Or not on camera, technically. But while I'm recording, I just... My voice kind of got lost here. Let me get a little bit of a club soda here. Meanwhile, this runs in the background. Okay. I think we're good now. You know me. I gotta have the club soda next to me every single time. That's all I drink now. No more water for the bird, man. It's just club soda. At some point or another, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find out it's very bad for me, and I'll be like, oh, remember all those times we were in club soda instead of water? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, water was just, I love water, but it was just not cutting it for me anymore, you know? Like, it's just, like, very plain. I love the bubbliness and the carbonation of the water or this club soda. It makes me feel like I'm having a little bit of a feast here while I'm drinking, you know? It's kind of like a little bit of an adventure in your mouth. It's like, yeah, what's going on in that mouth, huh? Oh, a lot of bubbliness. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. 
we have another angry clerk here. Hey, 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 you stop being angry. You stop stalking those shelves angry, okay? You be happy. That's what you need to do. Turn that frown upside down, my friend. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. Very cool, we're almost up to 8,000 sales. Um, how many customers on site? 66, uh, we've made 74 prior, so as a matter of fact, we've actually had more customers in the past than we have recently. Which is actually really interesting to me because we have more products in sale, we're making more sales, but um, still. Very intriguing. But check this out, we're at $5,000 here sold today. Oh boy, oh boy! 6,000 already, now that is what's up! Making that money like no other, man, I'm telling you. I wish it was this easy in real life to make money, man. I'd be rolling in it. I'd be rolling in 7,000 a day, apparently. I'd just be buck naked rolling in money. It's okay. It's my money. I could roll naked on it all I want. Very cool. So we made 6,700 here today, roughly. That's gonna be about it, right? Mm-hmm. That is it. But we now have a really good idea as to how much money we're making. Look at that. We had 38,000 at the start of the day. We're up to 55. Very, very nice. Okay. So... Let's start thinking about how we can increase our customers on site. And let's see if we're going to do that by going into research. Now, we are four hours away from the electronic suppliers, so I think it's about time for us to like open up a... a <laughs> I was about to say a, a Circuit City. Man, how dated I am. Circuit City has not been around in a very long time. And we also completed the task of 5,000 sales per day, so now we're going up to 10,000. So already, we're just going through all these quests pretty well now. Very, very nice. I really got to look at the update log and see what they've added and what they're looking to add really soon. I really want them to add the store specialization. I think it's going to be really cool. Like, have a store for food, have a store for clothing, have a store for, like, you know, appliances, so on and so forth. Um, but there it is. We now have our electronic supply thing. So with $55,000 reduced, and remember, we're also still paying off the, I think we are anyway. Hold up. Let's, let me pause momentarily. Let me go to research here. You're doing media supplier now, which is unlocks books, DVDs, Blu-rays, music CDs, and video games. Hey, we need that. We absolutely need that. Luxury supplier? Jewelry. I think we could probably extend the clothing store and have some jewelry in there. That would work out. Tools? We can make ourselves... Well, there's a limited amount of tools. Let's say we could open up like a, an auto zone of some kind, but I don't think it's going to work out too well. Appliances? I think we'll do, like, electronic appliances and media in one single store. Like, make it a giant... We'll call it a Best Buy, since Circuit City went out of business a long time ago. You know, I was gonna say, we could also go for Radio Shack. What the hell is going on with Radio Shack? Do you Can you tell me how Radio Shack still exists to this day? I see so many Radio Shacks here in the SoCal region, and I never see anybody in them, other than the workers. I never see any customers in there, but Radio Shack still exists. How is that possible? How are these people staying in business? Like, I'm happy for them in this, in this economy for them to still in business. That's perfectly fine. But how? I just want to know how. Like, did they have some sort of, like, deal with the mob or something? You know, they made a, a pledge with Satan or something? Who? What's going on with Circuit City? That's what I really want to know. Anyway, um, let's actually get to work here. Pretty good money coming in. Let's slow it down here a little bit so now we can actually think clearly. Um, I guess we could do, like, the appliance store right here. Now, let me find out about our debt. Yeah, that's what I wanted to check out here. So, um, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for finance. Okay. So, daily debt is going to be 405 That's what we're paying every single day here, huh? I could pay everything off early. <clears throat> it does seem like we have to still pay 38000 which is a lot of money. Um, I could do it now and just kind of make more money really quickly because we can do that. But I'm going to keep the daily debt there. I do believe that with 55000 we should be able to open up an appliance store anyway. Yeah. I'm looking at this over here. I'm looking at this blank spot and I'm thinking, do I really want that there? But I suppose I do. Maybe I could extend some parking spots. Maybe some... Em you know what? Employee parking for the people working at the clothing store and the electronic shop. This will be it right here. Employee Employee parking. Perfect, I got it now. Okay, let's actually go into the electronics store here and let's do build. We're going to need a couple of the old foundation, new foundation, sexy foundation, new foundation. <laughs> you like that song? Yeah, I just made it up. Is it obvious that I just made it up on the spot? Yeah, it should be. All right, so this is going to be have a lot of stuff in here. Media. Um, electronics and eventually appliances. So this one has to be a bit bigger than this bad boy. We cannot skimp on the items here or in the space here. So uh, I'm thinking we give him like a little bit of a two spot leadway, maybe even three. And we place this bad boy right through here. How much? Oh my god. 
<laughs> that is a lot of moolah still. We might actually have to grab another depth, obviously. Uh, honestly. Let me come over here then. That's unfortunate, but if I want to build now and not wait and sp waste your time over here just looking at the same thing happening, we're going to have to get another money bit here. So let's go into um, loan duration. Go up to daily depth. Is this going to stack with that, by the way? <laughs> with the 405 that already exists? Because if so, that could be a problem. Oh, well. Let's go up to, like, uh, 100 days. This will be 40,000. 40, um, daily debt of 553. Added to that is going to be, like, almost $1,000 the day that we have to pay back. But we'll have a lot more items for sale, which is going to be more money. And I'm going to be, like, high-priced items, too. So I think it's worth it. So we'll take out this loan over here as well. Is this is a good idea. I should probably save beforehand. Okay. Let's go ahead and just give risk it here. Take out loan. Oh! Oh, ho. Oh. So we have two depths now. Check this out. We have the 405 one and the 553. I thought it would kind of like combine, but no, no, we're good here. Who boy. We better make money, man. I'm telling you right now, we better make a lot of money because we now owe $94,000 e dues. Okay. So now with this type of money, let's go into foundations again. Come on. And we want one, two, three. Place this like so. And you're going to be, oh, oh my God, you're still costing me a ton. That's okay, we're gonna make some money here meanwhile we build this. It's not a big problem just yet. Um, 80,000? You guys think this is good? I think it's pretty good. 84,000, you're saying? No, no, let's, let's do 80,000. That should be enough, right? Right? That should be enough. Okay, there you go. Oh boy. We are gonna be broke for a while. But that's okay. You know what's gonna happen though? We'll probably have a couple of quests be completed because we'll have the sales. We'll have the 100 customers on site. We're gonna probably have to extend the parking lot at some point. We can hold up to 104 customers here at the moment, so there is that. Okay. So I, I don't have any workers here for today, do I? Alright, so let's go into fast speed. They should show up at some point, and once they do, they'll start working on this here. Um. Oh, what's happening now? They're hungry! And there are no restaurants? I, I beg to differ. There's one right here. Now there's none, but there was beforehand. Now I'm considering if maybe if that's going to be a case for late night shopping, maybe we should have an extra hours. Extend the hours here, huh? Maybe we should. I might extend the hours here. I'm not going to open up another shop because we don't have enough money for it, for one. But I think maybe extending the hours till nighttime as well could probably help us out. Yeah, that could be something we do. In the meantime, though, we just have to wait for our builders to show up here at some point. We're making some good money still, though. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We might even break... No, we're not going to break our our record lad that we did yesterday. But... Oh! Oh, we were kind of close there momentarily, though, weren't we? We were kind of close. Not going to make it? Not going to make it? No. My build is here, though, so that's fine. Let's go into the old regular speed. And let's go to build, and we want to go into objects, and we want ourselves the old double-down doors. Now, are you going to be in the center? Hey, I think this is actually the center of the store. Hey, it actually worked out. <laughs> okay, we'll do that there. Perfect. Now, um, let's see here. We're going to have to go. What what type of shelves do we need for the appliances, I wonder? Pallet is going to be for the washing machine, which is still locked. So we're working on appliances right now. Huh. So for the TVs and all that other stuff, we just use the, the regular ones. Let's see. Table. Yep, table. Tables indeed. <laughs> Can I put stuff in the fridge? I wonder. I'm curious about it. No. Oh, we need shelves for the appliances as well. What else do you do? Men's shoes. Oh, men's shoes! And the underwear and the lingerie. Oh, dude, we could put that here. Okay, hold up. Before we finish that up, let's go ahead and um, add a few different items. Oh, this is going to be kind of shitty, though. Oh, man. Not too crazy about this setup now. Mm, I guess we'll have to do it. Like so, and like so, we'll put like some lingerie and some underwear over here. I guess that'll work out for now. Yeah, I mean, I could do another row right here of stuff as well. Do I need the other row right now? I don't think we do. This is just food shelf. So for the shelves, okay, no wonder, because I was curious. I was like, what happened to the under uh, the uh, all the underwear I had to kind of set up? More than likely, I'll hear about it next episode, which I haven't aired just yet, but it'll be going live pretty soon. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead over here, and there we go. Um, no, not detergents. Soap shampoo. Man, we have a lot of new items, dude. There's a lot of cool stuff in here that I could be putting up in my Wally World Mart up there. But we'll do that later. Clothing. All right, here we go. Men's shoes. 
We'll do some women's shoes. We'll do some men underwear. <laughs> I was going to start laughing if it was actually called men's lingerie. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, but it's kind of a little bit interesting to read. Men's lingerie. I suppose there must be a men's lingerie, right? I've never really looked into it myself, but okay. So that there is set up. Now, let's look at this store here. Uh, we're at $28,000 reduced. Let's go into... We don't need that. So shelves... Um, we still have a couple of things locked. You know, before we open this up, how about... How about we do one last, um... Spill through here. I feel like we have a lot of the... Veggies and a bunch of this stuff here. I think we could kill a couple of these bad boys off to add in the detergents and stuff like that that we actually got in. So let me look at the needs here really quickly. Where are the needs at? Needs? Okay. Let me go and let's see what's high here. Movies? Okay. Okay. We could open up a cinema at some point, but I'm waiting on that one here right now. Detergents, soap, shampoo, cosmetics. Not really too high on the need list, it doesn't seem. Although you can't really go by this too much because, as I've mentioned, there, it's, this is going to be reworked, is what I read from the developer. Um, I'm going to kill these guys, but the demand for this quote-unquote high still. Okay. Well, the demand for washing machines and all the other stuff is actually kind of low. The Luckily for us, the, the price margin for the profit for everything you sell is actually good, but the demand right now is kind of a little bit low here, so... Hmm. Alrighty, well, we can still do detergents and soap and shampoo and cosmetics and stuff like that. And let's close this off. So, that's actually done with the white shelves, right? Okay. So, here's what I want to do. Let's get rid... Uh, remove objects. Let's get rid of, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a ton of bread here. Ton and ton of bread. Let's get rid of, like, maybe this whole line here for now. And then we'll leave, like, fruits, veggies, fruits, veggies, and a bit of bread here. That's the expirable stuff. And, oh, see, we have even more of it down here. So we could even kill this here and this here as well. Okay. And then we'll add... Soap and shampoos and stuff like that. Um, you know what? Let me, uh, can you cancel this here really quickly? Yeah, yeah, cancel it. Leave that there. Remember, the demand for that stuff that I'm going to add isn't really too high, so let's not go balls to the wall just yet. So we'll go shelves, right? Yes, yes, is that right? Yeah, detergent soaps. Okay, so we'll do bam, bam. We'll kind of, like, test the market first, see what people are buying, see what they're not buying, and then we make a decision whether we want to get rid of these guys, too. So, fast speed. We're about to open up the shop here, so you better hurry up because I gotta fill those things up. There you go, thank you. Let's pause momentarily and let's go into loading this bad boy up. So let's go to household items. We're looking for... Oh man, there's a lot of stuff here that I can't add. I might have to get rid of those after all, so I think we will. But let's start off with... Um, detergents. Kind of like keep it um all the same, you know? Detergents, we'll do soap and shampoo. You can probably find it next to detergents and stuff like that. Um... Cosmetics, deodorant, sounds like a good idea as well. What else? Toys, nah, toys never really sold too well for me, so screw that. I could probably even add a few in the appliance store or something. So we'll do that. Um, we'll also go with shaving cream. Okay. And we'll finally go with... Cosmetics. And we're still going to be empty of three items. The tooth care, the first aid, and the drugs. And I kind of want those on sale. Not because they'll make me a lot of money, the man's high, but it's still a different type of item on sale. And we do get um quests that are like, you know, sell different type of items and, you know, you get a reward. So for the last one, we'll just do cosmetics. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to remove objects down through here. Which she should take care of right here, right now. Hey, no, don't. Come on, just do it now. Don't go back. Why would you go back and back? It doesn't make any sense. See, now you're coming back. Oh, no, no, you sent somebody else to do the job, did you? Oh, that's good on you, I suppose, you lazy bum you. Objects, shelves, so we'll do bam, bam, build it now. Look, they're leaving. Just turn around and build it now. No, we got to get the plans from the maintenance shop. <laughs> we can't do it right on the fly. I forgot how to build a shelf, even though I just did it a while ago. There they go. They're set up now. Now, we're going to be missing a couple of items still on display. But we'll do the oral care right here, and we'll do the first aid. And let's see. Let's see. What could I get rid of just for the extra item? We have a lot of um, diapers. I don't think we need this many diapers, you know? 
So how about remove you down through here? Come on. Get back over here and destroy that. And add the object back. Of course, you're going to go and come back again. That's okay, I just need you to build it. There it is, it's built now. Pause, and let's go ahead and add the last item, which is going to be drugs. Okay, not toys, drugs. Alrighty, so we have a lot of different items. Hey, look at that, everything's stocked up now. These are all the new items here. Very cool. And look at the profit margin for these guys if they sell. 10 to 20, 10 to 20, 10 to 20, 8 to 16. Pretty good. I'm going to take it. I will definitely take it. Excelente. I know, we haven't, you know, gone back here, and we will, we will, but I just want to kind of finish up all the extra stuff that we unlocked that we didn't have on sale. And I want to see what this impacts here our day when it comes to sales itself. It probably won't be too visible right now because, again, we spend money on destroying stuff, rebuilding stuff, and stocking new items, so that's going to probably have a little bit of a hit on our margin when it comes to making money today, but um, tomorrow we should get a better feel for it. Because as you can see right now, not too good when it comes to the money. We're almost at midday, and we're nowhere near close to uh, close to breaking even, which is not really good whatsoever. But we do have new items, so that might hopefully attract a couple of new people here for maybe our hundred. Oh yeah, ooh, 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 look at that! Come on, I need you to start buying these items here for me, okay? I need to make sure that this was a good investment on my part. I mean, we're selling now, but mm, I'm not too crazy about today. Oh yeah, but we added a lingerie. Look at that! <laughs> Hey, you guys want to buy some men's underwear and women's lingerie? We have everything for you. Oh, look at this line. Look at this line. We're apparently moving pretty well over here so much that we might actually have to add or move our fella up here and then have another one down here. Yeah, we need a second clerk over here, it does seem. All right. So now we have a little bit of a plan here. We'll see how much money we make here pretty soon, but it does seem we have to extend this if we want to continue selling. But it's pretty good. It means that our clothing store is doing well. If the lines are packed, it means you have room to expand and make more money. Look at our lines over here as well. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know in the comments any sort of suggestions, ideas you want me to kind of lay this out as, and we'll see how this plays out. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I will catch you next time.